What's up everyone, I am Carlos, better known as Ultra Rotom, and welcome to another video. One day I participated in a video on Chris' channel about schools, what's wrong with schools, especially from my own perspective as an autistic person, which the link is in the description by the way. And in this video I am going to elaborate a bit more on this point and I am going to focus on other aspects other than just school. I am going to talk about the capitalist system, our hierarchical society and the way it is structured. I am going to center disabled people in this conversation firstly because as an autistic person I am disabled myself and yeah, I will mainly talk about autistic related experiences and issues because of my identity and life experience. That's what I'm the most qualified to talk about. But I will mention other disabilities and things that affect disabled people in our society. In this video, there will be brief mentions of potentially triggering things such as suicide, torture, abuse and mental health issues. So be warned, but it is important to have these conversations because we can only solve the problem if we identify the problem and talk about it. Capitalism is a system that commodifies our own existence and basic needs for our survival. It puts money, profit, work above the planet we inhabit and above human life itself. And yet that includes our physical and mental health. It is a system where a select few People have all the money and simultaneously there are people starving to death in the street, people in extreme poverty. The moment someone is born, they can be in a position of major advantage or disadvantage depending on who are the parents, how much money their family has and other structural factors that influence privilege such as race, ethnicity, gender, disability and so on. If you haven't watched the videos about these issues on this channel it had to be said, I highly recommend to have a better understanding of capitalism and societal issues. I particularly suggest watching this video, you don't have to contribute to society but to briefly explain it here, there is only the illusion of contributing to society or whatever that means when people are working. People are contributing to capitalism and to the status quo. And contributing to society, as they say, is different for many disabled people who might struggle to contribute to capitalism for many reasons and might be dehumanized and seen as worthless because they supposedly don't contribute to society. What people mean in the end is contributing to making ultra-rich bosses and corporate members even richer. Everyone wants to consume and appreciate the work of people who inform, educate and entertain others. Yeah, such as video content creators. Uh, but these people are told, nah, that's, that's not contributing to society because that's, that's not the real job. And then people who dedicate themselves to social justice activism, mutual aid, anti-poverty action, they aren't contributing to society according to the system because in fact they are doing the opposite of what the system wants. Capitalism says work or die 
and unsurprisingly, these results in many people dying. Dying from starvation, from suicide due to not affording basic needs, or even dying while working due to burnout and several health complications. You can imagine how awful this is particularly for disabled people who face barriers to access jobs, have less energy to deal with tasks, and some disabled people are incapable of having a job altogether, and society will just put them as useless. And keep in mind that many people don't even know that they are disabled and that they are in a position of structural disadvantage and that it's not their fault. Personally, I only found out that I'm autistic very recently and I see many adults who took years and years to find out that they have ADHD, dyslexia, dyspraxia and so on. Plus, people can become disabled later in life which is almost inevitable and if they develop things such as depression and anxiety, even if they are temporary, they are disabling, they can have catastrophic consequences when it comes to school and work and potentially ruin the, the people's lives because capitalism punished them for their mental illness, for their struggles, they're denied support and blamed for their financial situation, then they are dismissed as lazy. Look at how society is structured and how life works for many people, which are mostly about capitalism but also some other issues in society, which do intersect with capitalism actually. When we are young, we are denied autonomy, many parents want to control every single aspect of their children's lives, punish them for everything, don't allow their kids the right to have boundaries until they are a certain age, don't let them be themselves if they're queer and don't want to conform to the gender roles assigned to their gender at birth, like don't let them transition. And of course, this includes disability. You see many autistic children. Many autistic people are traumatized by their parents because they want them to conform to the norm, which is a neurotypical norm that classifies autistic traits as bad, defective, and in need of being eradicated or changed. It is also a model based on obedience, pressure, punishment, competitiveness, encourages people to work themselves to exhaustion, which are the values that school and capitalism promote. I am going to mention ABA. If you are unfamiliar with ABA, which stands for Applied Behavior Analysis, they are therapies that are forced upon many autistic children and they are based on trying to get them to suppress their natural autistic traits and to train them to become more normal. They are extremely abusive, traumatic, they are based on punishment and encourage autistic people to hide their struggles and suffer in silence. Many things that happen in ABA therapies are taking away toys from autistic children, which can be their comfort items and special interests, forcing them to make eye contact, which can be literally painful for many of us, and I'm not exaggerating, exposing autistics to sensory triggers, and in some specific cases, there is still the use of electrical shocks. Yes, sadly, it 
really happens and it's messed up. It is physical torture as a supposed form of discipline, especially against uh, non-speaking autistics and autistics with intellectual or learning disabilities that are exposed to this kind of violent abuse. ABA therapies are based on the same principles as LGBT conversion therapies, abusing someone in hopes of transforming them into another person with more socially acceptable traits. And please, I urge you to speak up more and more about these issues and let them get public attention. And there are two videos in the description about ABA therapy and shock therapy, respectively, so you can learn more. Thankfully, I was never exposed to actual ABA therapies, but the way I was raised by family and at school shares some things in common with ABA. I mentioned on my other video about school, teachers took away my special interests, like the, the monsters that I was drawing in class. They discouraged my natural creativity, punished me and took points from my grades for displaying autistic traits, such as abnormal eye contact, different facial expressions and fidgeting. There are many other disabled slash neurodivergent people sharing their experiences with school and work. And they're mostly negative and can even be frightening. Uh, like students with ADHD being harshly punished for lack of attention and being forgetful people with certain medical conditions being forced to push their limits and exercise themselves to exhaustion on physical education, sports, classes, and hell, even if they have chronic conditions which might be undiagnosed, it could literally kill them. And then there is this whole thing of grades and tests which people associate to intelligence and they act like it's justified to bully people with the lowest grades. Of course, this will lead to more stigma and prejudice towards disabled people because ranking someone's worth as a human being on intelligence is incredibly ableist. Now, talking about work, there are many things that make jobs unbearable or hard to access for disabled people. I'm going to focus on my own perspective as an autistic person because I know my limits, I know my struggles related to jobs. So firstly, job interviews are one hell of a process already. There are many trick questions being asked in interviews. There are many things that are hard to understand regarding social norms that would force me to be dishonest and act in a way that's not authentic. I struggle with maintaining eye contact with strangers and even when I'm the slightest distressed or overwhelmed, and with keeping the facial expression and the body language they desire. And then even in the work environment, I don't socialize in the same way that neurotypicals do, and if I tried, it would be extremely damaging to my mental health, I don't have the same level of motivation, energy, or capacity to focus on certain things and switch between tasks. Plus, the work environment could be either too overstimulating or understimulating sensory-wise, which 
could be bothersome and distracting or it could even be painful and causing meltdowns which yeah they are a natural autistic reaction to overwhelming events and society considers them childish and unprofessional then there's the issue of whether or not you have a professional diagnosis which can be a double-edged sword if you are openly disabled and uh, very clear in your medical record and personal information they can use that against you and discriminate you based on your disability many people may not want to hire you for a job because they notice that you're disabled but if you don't have a professional diagnosis you are not believed your struggles aren't taken seriously they don't offer accommodations and you aren't qualified for disability benefits just look at how society sees disabled people sometimes people might seem accepting but there's a lot of fake acceptance and sometimes this does more harm than good as long as society considers things such as productivity to determine our worth as human beings and attaches a moral value to functioning to work disabled people will not be fully welcomed and respected in society period that's a fact disabled people are commonly used as tokens we are infantilized and treated in a condescending way and there's a lot of inspiration porn which are some common motivational quotes like yuck they're awful they're the kind of cliche and terrible message such as oh you think that your life is bad uh, okay let me show you a disabled person who has it worse be lucky that you're not them or this disabled person won an athletic championship this is so inspirational if even disabled people can do that then you have no excuse to be struggling with whatever you're struggling with or at least feeling bad for disabled people like we don't want pity and performative solidarity we want actual support and that includes tackling the issue of structural ableism which can't be dismantled without addressing the issue of capitalism as well if you're talking about capitalism never forget about disabled people think about those who have additional struggles on top of most people's struggles under capitalism which of course are valid and worth addressing as well and how neurodivergences and chronic illness for example can make it hard to survive under a system that wants us to be constantly exploited for labor remember that even though therapy and suicide prevention campaigns are important they don't solve structural issues at their core they don't solve poverty or excessive amounts of hours of coerced labor many people still subconsciously see disabled people as inferior and we are just an afterthought like the disabled people aren't really worth protecting and they don't fully believe in our rights even even if they don't want to admit it because they still have that capitalist mindset and they go around tossing empty words of acceptance
Okay, a last point that I would like to make is that since capitalism commodifies every single aspect of our lives, including the most basic of the needs, and the system forces us to work in order to achieve them, the situation is made even worse for disabled people. Many disabled folks rely on disability aids and or medication for the sake of survival, accessibility, and coping with our world, which was made for neurotypical and able-bodied people. In addition to medication, I'm talking about, for example, wheelchairs, hearing aids, virtual communication methods for non-speaking people, these things can cost a lot of money, and if someone needs them, since they are disabled, chances are that they are at a disadvantage when it comes to participating in capitalistic society and thriving in a work environment. So they will likely need even more money to survive and struggle to make that money on top of that. So before ending the video, I would like to share my donation link once again, which is on the screen and the description. At this moment, there is a fundraiser on my coffee to afford a new laptop, as my current one is very old and doesn't have the best quality. It would also allow me to start live streaming, start a YouTube channel of my own, and even open some possibilities for future jobs, which would help me get some form of income, which I currently don't have. As always, no pressure whatsoever. Donations are optional. But if several people who are watching this video donated even a small amount, it would be huge and I have no words to describe how much of a positive difference it would make to me. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.